in this video we will try to understand how to find out the resultant of a force system now the problem statement is given over here the various forces which are acting on the bracket are shown 400 newton force is acting at 30 degree to the positive x axis whereas 800 newton force is acting at an angle of 45 degree to the y axis now we have to resolve this particular components into rectangular components of x and y so let us first consider the resolution of 400 newton force which is making an angle of 30 degree to the positive x axis so it will have two component one is in the x direction and another one is in the y direction so the component which is adjacent to this angle is the cos component so it is f1 cos 30 and the component which is opposite to this angle is sine component so it is f1 sine 30 and both these components they are in the first quadrant so you can see that this is along the positive x axis and this component is also along the positive y axis so in the first quadrant we were at x is positive y is positive in the second quadrant x is negative y is positive in the third quadrant x and y both are negative and in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative so we can say that f1 x as this particular force it is lying in the first quadrant f1 x and f2 y both are positive because both are along the positive x axis and a positive y axis respectively now let us consider the resolution of 800 newton force which is acting in the fourth quadrant and making an angle of 45 degree with the a positive x axis so if this is 45 degree with the uh, y axis then 90 minus 45 so the angle that is made by this force with the positive x axis is also 45 again it will also have two component one is f2 x which is the cos component which is the adjacent component so adjacent to this angle is the cos component so f2 x is f2 cos 45 and opposite to this is the sine component that is f2 sine 45 now as you can see this is along the positive x direction so it is positive whereas this is along the negative y direction so it is negative so f2 y will be negative in this case now using this we have to find out the summation of the forces in x direction and in y direction and then we have to find out the resultant of a force system in magnitude as well as in the direction so summation of fx is f1x plus f2x f1x is f1 cos 30 and f2x is f2 cos 45 both are positive so value of f1 is 400 value of f2 is 800 and if you add them together then you will get this value of summation of fx as 912.095 newton similarly summation of y will be equal to f1y plus f2y that is f1 sin 30 plus f2 sin 45 but this component is negative because it is in the fourth quadrant so we have used the minus sign now over here so it is f1 that is 400 f2 is 800 and this component is negative so it is minus 365.685 newton now resultant is given by square root of summation of fx square plus summation of fy square now substitute the value summation of fx is 912.095 square of that plus minus 365.685 and square of that so the value of r if you calculate and it comes out to be 982.671 newton now the direction of the resultant is given by mod of tan alpha is equal to mod of summation of fy divided by summation of fx that we have to consider the positive values only so instead of this minus 365.685 we will consider 365.685 divided by 912.095 so sigma fy is 365.685 and sigma fx is 912.095 so alpha will be equal to 10 inverse of that particular value and it has it comes out to be 21.847 degree now as the value of summation of fx is positive and summation of fy is negative we can say that r will lie in the fourth quadrant because in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative so r is 982.671 newton and it makes an angle of 21.847 with the positive x axis so in this way we can find out the resultant of coplanar concurrent force system thank you very much for watching